Okay, so what is the Connect program? Okay, so Connect is a way for students to get counseling right away if they don't have insurance or don't have Medicaid. So um, it takes, like, you won't have to go to make other, like, appointments at the doctor first to get a referral or anything. You can just call that phone number, 1-800, I think it's 926-9619. Um, call that phone number, and then from there, they set you up with a counselor in our area, and you can go for, like, four sessions of free counseling. Anybody in the district. What made you decide to bring this program to the schools? I don't have, the, I'm not the one in charge of it. Somebody out in our community paid a bunch of money to kind of have this program. That way kids could get help um, quicker. So if they wanted to go and get counseling, their, their parents didn't, couldn't afford it or don't have insurance, they could still go. Um, how can students use it? Well, students can just be willing to go. That's the big issue. A lot of students uh, don't want to talk to a counselor sometimes. They kind of just feel like, that's weird. I don't want to, you know, um, go and get help with, with things. Um, I'm fine, you know, and then the, the parents kind of, you know, uh, aren't sure what to do then. Another thing students can do is if they do want the service, they just need to keep reminding their parents to let them take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. um, how can staff members use it? So staff members can refer students also. We just give the phone number out to everybody. Um, so any staff member can go ahead and give that phone number to any student that they see might be struggling with things and could maybe have use uh, an extra person to talk to about things that's not their parents or you know, an extra trusted adult in their life a little bit. Um, what are some resources for the community members to access mental health? So we have a lot of uh, community clinical counselors in our area. I have uh, plenty of lists of them. The Connect program is another way. And even we have a counselor right here who comes to our building from Family Health Services. And so he can see kids who aren't able to get a ride after school to counseling, who aren't able to get a ride during school to go to see a counselor in the community. So he sees kids right here. And the main uh, way to go ahead and get a hold of those things, obviously you can just Google search counselors in my area and it'll bring them up. I might come up on that list because I was a clinical counselor before, but you would just call those agencies and make an appointment. You could also just come to the school counselor and we try to hook you up with, with whatever we feel would work for you too. Give your parents those phone numbers. Do you have like links to any websites and stuff? Um, there's probably a ton of websites as as far as like a place where it's all gathered um, together in one spot for Idaho you could d like go to the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare website um, and then right there there would be an option for mental health services and supports and you'd probably be able to kind of you know cut down that search into more specific people in our area you can also go to the school district website, casuschools.org, to learn more about the Connect program, to get the phone number for the Connect program. Um, you can also visit PAUSE, their organization website. PAUSE, P-A-U-S-E, is our suicide prevention awareness and support group for the community. And they have plenty of phone numbers and, and resources too. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all the questions.